All right, guys, so I ordered a 22 limited RAM, and when I went to order it, I ordered the Trader TPMS, pretty much all the features I wanted, and I didn't get to order the Tomo camera because what I heard was is they were out of the cameras, and so that would have put my truck on restriction, which would have taken even longer. So I said, well, I'll just order the camera later and uh, put it on because I had looked at uh, YouTube and seen pictures of limiteds. You know, I think if you get the electrochromatic mirror, which is the digital rear view mirror, Generally, my understanding is you get the port on the bumper. And so if you add tow mode camera to your system or something like that, they go ahead and add the port to the bumper. Um, one of the things I noticed is whenever, well, we'll go ahead and hook the camera up real quick and show you what I'm getting. So let me flip this around and uh, I'll show you the part number on the camera. Okay, so the part number on the camera, I'll make sure you can get this without a glare. It's, you gotta add that P to it. 685-275-99 Apple Apple. It's gonna come with some zip ties, some mounts. You're gonna get this camera right here. And uh, this is what they call a Fokker connection right here. Um, you'll connect that up. This is the 50 foot cable that runs along your RV that you can plug in to your rear bumper. So you flip this over and guys this side, sorry I'm having to do this one handed. Okay, so now I've got the camera connected to the rear bumper. Now guys, this is the tow mode camera on the left side. It just runs to the rear view mirror. The rear view mirror has two inputs on it. It has this running up there to one input and it has the Chimsel camera, which is the camera on the left of the cargo light up there. That's the one it projects off of when you're not pulling a trailer. The center one, the center camera on the cargo light actually goes to the Uconnect 5 system. And that's what you get on your backup camera. Um, and then the tailgate camera also goes to the Uconnect 5 system. The seven way, this is for the 360 cam for the trailer up here. And you buy a module that basically you can mount the cameras on the trailer and it'll give you a full 360 view of your trailer like it does the truck. So when I first bought this camera and I went through this process a little bit, so I'll explain it. Purchase the camera and you come straight into the truck. If you look up at the top left hand side, you'll see it's still showing off of the cargo light is what you're seeing now on the camera. So let me shut this door. So when you try to go in and select it, you click this button here and you'll see it's got two camera options. You can select the other one and you'll see it shows a no connection light, right? Um, so basically, I traced this wire down the frame and traced it up to the rearview mirror, and I had to order a cable to check this. If you notice, I've got this plate off up here. This is input one that comes from the chimsel. It runs straight back, goes actually around the right side of the sunroof, and goes back to the cargo light cam. Okay, this side over here, this is your um, one that goes to the bumper so it runs up here along the top of the headliner runs around the back and then goes down that side right there so during this process i thought maybe i had a bad camera so i got a buddy that's got a brand new 22 uh it's a laramie he does not have the tow mode camera on his window sticker he does have a towing package and uh i just thought hey he works over by me let's uh give him a holler let's go plug this camera into his bumper and see what happens we plugged it in, worked like a champ. As soon as you plug it in, it defaults to the camera that's plugged in. So your rear view mirror camera will actually go straight to the trailer if it works. So it worked on that truck. I don't know why it doesn't work on this truck. I know there's a lot of guys on the forum that are looking for these answers. So I'm gonna show you what it's gonna take to get to the problem. Um, one of the things I did was I ordered a Fokker connector cable. It's got two female ends, um, reason is, is I'm gonna disconnect this up here. I'm gonna plug this camera in and show you it works directly with the rear view mirror, no problem. So that tells you there's no programming, no BCM programming or anything like that. So basically, whether Ram did it on purpose, you know, if you didn't order the Tomo camera, maybe they put a blank in it, maybe they left it unplugged. Um, you know, I've traced this wire basically all the way around the back, but I wanted to check this before I had to pull the seat belt and pull all the stuff off that back quarter to get down to where I think it is. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do that here in just a second, but one of the things I'm gonna show you right now is I'm gonna take this Fokker cable, I'm gonna hook it up and show you how it works directly plugged into the rear view mirror. 
Okay, so as you can see, I plugged the cable directly into the input two right here. Got the camera plugged in. One of the things I noticed is it immediately, if you look up in this top corner, goes to tow mode camera. So I'm gonna get this working. Once I get it working, I can run the cables, get this mounted on the back of my RV, and then it's gonna work great. The other thing you'll notice is you get a couple more options here. See the four dots instead of the three. So as soon as it senses it, it picks it up, it goes to that. Now see, watch, when I directly unplug this, it's gonna default back to the Chimzel cam, okay? So I'm gonna show you the connectors and uh, how I'm gonna trace this back to find out where the problem is. Okay, so right here on the driver's side, right in between the bed and the cab. If you look right here, this wire coming off the harness, it has a Fokker connection. I wish I had the light I could show y'all but it plugs in right there. So we're gonna unplug it. We're gonna plug the camera in directly to that Fokker connection down here under the body and see if the camera works. Okay, so I've got a direct connection right here at the back of the cab that basically bypasses all the harness going from the fuel tank back to the bumper. You get in here and you look we're not getting any signal, otherwise it would have already moved. See, we just got the two dots right here. We select it, still getting the no connection. So, we're gonna move up a little further to the top of the headliner and try that one. Okay, so your next thing you're gonna have to do is then I came up here, you gotta take these two Phillips head screws out. There's a clip right here in the dead center and you pull it back and then you'll see there's another Fokker connection right here for the headliner. Um, which we've plugged the headliner in. And if you look at the rearview mirror, you can see that we work. So there is a short or a dummy or something unplugged from this point up here, down to behind this box, and behind here. That's one wire that runs from there to there. So if I can't find it on the RAM side, that's about a four foot or a five foot wire with Fokker connections. I'll order a new one on Amazon and replace it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart to see if we can't find the reason why they made this cable not work from here to there. Okay, and once you come down to this section right here, that Fokker cable runs along this top piece from up here, and then it splits off right here. There's no connectors or no splices. So the next piece is, I've got to get these off and pull this piece back and see what's going on down here at the connection. Okay, so what I can tell you is it was not intentional for them to make the camera not work. <clears throat> As you can see right there, I pulled the piece back on the back wall going down to the fender. And that is the connection that is not completely inserted. That's exactly how I found it. So let me get that plugged in. We'll plug the camera back into the bumper. And if you've got the port on the bumper, it should work then. Okay, so this is how it should work. Once you've got everything hooked up. Go straight to run. You can see it's on the cargo cam right now. Come around here to the back bumper. Move that over. Make your connection. Plug your camera in. That's it on the floor. switch it over to cargo there you go you're looking at the cargo camera view now you want to switch back see you've got more dots here now more menus as soon as it recognizes it um, and I think one of those menus is when you put the truck in reverse I have to start it to show you I think it actually pans down or it pans a different direction so let's see here let me shut this door 
on the cargo cam now. Let me start the truck. And see if you got it mounted to the top of your camper. When you put it in reverse, that camera has a little deal that moves down in the inside of it. See, when I go back to park. So pretty nice feature on that. Um, you know, if you mount it up at the top of your camper, it's made to give you a view over, but when you're backing up directly, it points down some. So anyway, that's it for the menus. We'll flip back to the truck. Okay, so to answer most of the questions on the forum, basically, if you've got the electrochromatic mirror, the digital mirror, in whatever options you chose on the truck, you should get the port on the bumper. That's what I've seen driving through the dealerships looking at all the trucks you know on the forum stuff like that so if you get the mirror should have the port it should work you just have to buy the camera like i said that part number is in the beginning of this video and they're very hard to get right now so you might get with your parts guy at the dealership try to get you one you know secured it's much cheaper to order it with the truck so if you're putting an order in definitely that camera list for I think it's 700 something dollars. Um, you know, that option is only $450 on the window sticker. So if it's not gonna put your truck in a restriction, way cheaper to get it on the order and um, go that route. And some of you that you've got the tow mode camera and you got it in the truck and you plugged it in and it's not working, I can probably bet you it's the same connector. But I've showed you where all the connectors are. There's basically four points. There's the, well, there's five if you count the one at the bumper. There's one at the bumper, one at the back of the cab there's one behind the felt lining on the back wall there's one at the top of the headliner and then there's one at the mirror so that's your connectors that you'll have to check if it's not working but again please hit that like and subscribe bottom right hand corner we'll catch you on the next video